apologize for the slight delay from the lines. But it's time now. Let us start the Christopher Freeman question and answer panel. after a mic. Such a bad idea. So sorry about that, guys. We're just trying to get some more lights here so we can see what the hell is going on. So hopefully it's a little brighter. Hi! Good afternoon. It's so different here right now than it was last night when people were spinning glowing things. The rave was fantastic. Hopefully some of you got to enjoy it. It was really good DJ. How about the dude in like the Sentai suit with the helmet? With the, that was, and the armor, that was pretty crazy. That was a lot of fun. So, hope you guys are doing well. Uh, welcome to my question and answer panel. It's good to see all of you here, all bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. Uh, I'm here to answer your questions. I assume you know who I am, so, I mean... So I'm not going to waste any time with introductions or anything. If you don't leave... No, I'm kidding. You can stay for a little bit. Ask the person next to you. Figure it out. Um, it's good to have you all here. So let's start it up. Who has questions? Ah, yes. Okay. Uh, I'm a fan of Revolutionary Girl Usna. So am I. What was your favorite part about playing Toga? I think my favorite part about playing Togo was that first line of his when he sees Utena defeat Sionji and says, Oh yes, baby. <laughs> and, I, and they had it in the script, I was like, he doesn't really say that, come on, that's just a bad translation. And then they play it in Japanese, it's like, beep, 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 something about that baby. <laughs> okay, I guess he said it, let's, let's work with that then. Yeah, I loved, I, I was really excited about Utena, um, because it was only the second show I'd ever worked on, and uh, a friend told me about it. He said, there's this show called Utena, it's really cool, you should work on it. And uh, I said, let me go back to the studio, see what's going on, and sure enough, the studio I was working at, they had licensed him, and they were showing me the characters, and I said, uh, yeah, I'm either going to be Toga or Sionji, I think Toga, I think that's the match. And they said, yeah, you're Toga. I was like, yep, yeah, sounds good to me. Let's record. <laughs> yes. Uh, well, my, I, there aren't that many that are recurring, if, you know, to play now. But the ones I have played, um, uh, usually it's uh, Sume from Wolf's Rain. <laughs> and uh, Prince Turner from Howl's Moving Castle. She jumped, I said the right one. <laughs> oh, you wanna do that? Sure, why don't we have why don't we have questions since we have a wonderful microphone here? Why don't we have a line of people if they want to ask questions? You can line up in this direction, pointing that way towards Judy who has the microphone. Slowly, slowly. No one, no one should die. Well, yeah, you can challenge me block you from the first row, huh? Why don't we, why don't we have them go uh, that, like that, along that way behind the table? Yeah, why not behind the table? There we go. That way we're not blocking everyone in the first row. You guys can still stand there. Ooh, great. Fabulous. <laughs> All right, my, my question for you is, how did you have, uh, or how did you enjoy doing Cougar on Ascar? How did I enjoy doing Cougar? Uh, I loved it. It was a bit of a challenge because he talks so fast that usually when you have a script for anime, it's broken up like an Excel chart. And so every loop is one cell in the chart. And a loop will be, or a line will be, a sentence, two sentences, three, maybe four. Cougar would have paragraph after paragraph on multiple pages. So I literally have 50 lines of dialogue and it was all at breakneck speed, and um, we figured out that I had to just do it all in one pass. There was no way to sort of do one, pause, do the next one, because it didn't flow. So I literally have to be like, <sighs> ready, go, beep, 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 <laughs> ah, I messed up, uh, ready, ready, <sighs> go, <laughs> and 
we, we go through that about like three or four times until I sort of nailed it all the way through, and 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 then I'd have to go and take a breather because I'd be sweating bullets. <laughs> um, but it was a lot of fun. I liked Cougar. Three more seconds to live. <laughs> I have two questions. My first question is. Have you ever had an obsession with a fruit or a vegetable? I ask every time I make mean, this question. Not that I know of, have you? I like pickles. Which? I like dill pickles. Dill pickles? How kosher are you? Huh, okay. Okay, my second question is, can you, as like Jeremiah, can you say I would like you all to watch C2's World? Please. I would like you all to watch which what? I would like you all to watch C2's World. C2's World? Yes, it's like a video I'm doing in my C2 cosplay. Oh, okay. Sort of thing. I would like you all to watch C2's World. Thank you. Okay. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Can I ask you two questions? Okay, I have two answers. I can do many kill mines. Uh, okay. Next question. <laughs> <laughs> do you have a favorite one? Um, well, I don't know. Can you say, like, your favorite one? Sure. Super size me! <laughs> <laughs> okay, and the second question is, like, what was your first impression of Kyo, like, when you were auditioning for Haruki? Like, since you're, all your, well, most of your characters are, like, Adults like that, so like, uh, what was, and Kiana's like, okay, right now. And then, um, so what was your impression? I don't know of that many adult characters in Haruki Susumiya. They're all sort of school, uh, kids. Um, but one thing as an actor that I'm always looking for whenever I audition for a show is I want to match myself up with the character that I think suits my voice and my personality best. Because the worst thing is to be miscast. That's an awful, awful feeling. Because that means that no matter how good an actor you are, you are not gonna work. And that's, that's happened to me twice and it's no fun at all. So I, I will look at a character and say, I think that character's cool, but I don't think I can play him well enough. Someone else can play him better, like Itsuki. I look at Itsuki and I say, I'm not really Itsuki, that should be Johnny and Bosch, she would be great at playing that character, you know? I look at Kyon and I go, yeah, that Kyon's sort of my character. And I think we work very well in our characters. If you flipped me and Johnny and made me play Itsuki and Johnny play Kyon, it's not that we couldn't do it, we're both good actors, we could act it, but it wouldn't fit as well. And so we'd be fighting the whole time trying to fit the character better. So when I saw the lineup, I said, I want to write for his kiln, and then it's just a question of whether the producers and the director agree or not. If they say, yes, Kristen, we want you to play kiln, all's good. You know, Houston, we have lift off. But if they don't, then they cast somebody else. Okay, thank you, kiln. You're welcome. Hey. Hey. <laughs> um, in your episode 7, mm -hmm. uh, in the episode where, I forgot the nurse's name, I'm sorry, I forgot the who's. Who's the nurse's name? The nurse. Oh, uh, the German nurse. Mary Elizabeth Place or anything? Yeah. Yeah. What about her? Uh, well, no, like, uh, never mind. Uh, oh. <laughs> no, but when the, nurse, when the nurse calls Tahoe down to the infirmary yeah. and asks Holland to go too, Holland yeah. goes, well, why do I have to go? Right. Yeah. It's like, well, it's yours, isn't it? Right. Um, what was your, like, feeling or... What were your thoughts about having to like say that line like, in that instance? Just because, I don't know, the look on Holland's face was funny. Well, I drew that look on Holland's face, no. Um, I don't know. Uh, the one funny thing about it is that Kate Higgins, I think at the time, might have been pregnant. <laughs> Not by me. <laughs> by her wonderful husband. Um, uh, so I, I don't know if she was doing some method acting there or not, but um, uh, I, uh, I don't know, it's acting. I, I, I play pretend. I think that the challenge for Colin in that moment is that it's funny. I, I tend to play the older brother characters. Um, you know, if you've got Speed Racer on Racer X and, uh, and Steve Blue is our dad. And, um, 
And so that's sort of how Eureka 7 is first set up. Renton is the younger guy, played by, oh, I don't know, Johnny and Bosch. And then um, the older brother figure is Holland, played by, oh, I don't know, me. And uh, see how this casting thing works? And um, so I'm playing this older brother figure of Holland, but then it turns out Holland's the younger brother. That Dewey is his older brother. And that sort of took me for a loop at first. I was like, ooh, I'm not the older brother anymore, I'm the younger brother. Okay, what do we do now?